Today, myself and two colleagues, Josh and Anais, have been moving the effigy from um, the niche that he's been sat in for the last hundred years or so in the south transept of the cathedral. Um, he's being moved to a, a new position on a new, on a new plinth in a much better location. The first thing we had to do was to give him a very careful inspection to make sure that there were no no hidden fractures or breaks which would have made um, uh, presented um, a risk when we when we tried to move him uh, both a risk to damage to the knight himself but also because he weighs about half a ton um, we have to be very careful that uh, we don't hurt ourselves as well then it was really just a case of, um, of freeing him up from his mortar bed there were there are little bits of a very hard cement mortar around the edges, so we removed those carefully using a, a, a hammer and chisel until we could, um, using a long, um, a long crowbar, we could um, just start to check that there's a little bit of movement in him and that he, he was free to, um, uh, to be lifted up. Even though, of course, we think of stone as being very hard, it's it's actually quite quite soft compared to compared to steel, so we didn't want the uh, the crowbar to scratch him in any way. And also, um, uh, we were thinking about um, point loading and spreading the, the the stress. And so, lead being quite soft will negate the risk of scratching, and it will just spread the spread the load a little bit from where we are we are lifting him up. Finding suitable points from which to um, uh, lever him up, from one, first on one side and then the other, we could slip little wooden, um, and we use softwood again, softwood won't um, scratch the stone. We use softwood um, runners and battens to um, slip underneath him such that we could then um, get into, into a position where we can slide him out onto a temporary, um, a temporary plinth. Once he's on the plinth, we can then get to him from uh, from all four sides and inspect him more carefully. Now, one of my favourite bits of this whole operation is um, is the way that we um, slide him on the wooden runners. When I first started doing this sort of work, we used to use um, hardboard where we'd put the one shiny face to the other shiny face. And we'd use graphite powder as a dry lubricant in between the two sheets of um, hardwood. Nowadays we tend to use um, Teflon and as long as you keep it clean and free of scratches you just put the two sheets of uh, two strips of Teflon on top of each other and there's so little friction between them you can just slide the knight out of his niche onto the onto the temporary platform and, we, and then we use the same process to move them from the platform onto the trolley. Um, the next uh, job was to manoeuvre our way around the, um, the holes and the steps in the floor. It's a bit like taking an advanced driving test I suppose um, because um, if you try to steer the, the, the trolley too far the centre of gravity can can move, so there's a danger of, um, of it over, toppling over. And because it's quite heavy, obviously we um, uh, have to try to make um, ramps going up any steps. Um, and the ramps have to be such that we can physically um, pull, pull the trolley with, with that weight on um, safely. And then we moved him back onto another temporary platform where he will stay for the next two or three months while um, HPR do their work to the floor. It will be a much better location for such an important piece of um, medieval sculpture.